for taking the time to join our virtual uh, community meeting this evening to discuss the Las Vegas Trail at Normandale Street Improvement Project. Uh, my name is Martin Phillips. I'm going to put my camera on here and then I'll turn it off afterward just to uh, save the bandwidth. And it cannot connect. So that's my WebEx story for this evening. Uh, sorry about that. But my name is Martin Phillips and I'm a senior capital projects officer in the uh, capital delivery division for transportation and public works. And on the line with us is uh, Shweta Rao, who is the project manager for the project, and she'll be delivering the uh, presentation this evening. Uh, in addition to that, we have Mr. Jeff Allen, who's our communication specialist and another important member of our team. And uh, just wanted to check to see if Councilmember Crane might be one of the callers. If so, if you'd like to say a few words. And I always pause just in case, just in case you mute it. Okay, um, and with that, um, you know, we're, we're going to get into our virtual community meeting here. And so Shweta, if you would please uh, proceed. You might be muted Shweta. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Martin, for introducing the team. Uh, uh, I really forgot that it's muted. Uh, okay. I'll. I would like to welcome everyone again. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to our community meeting for Las Vegas Trail at Normandale Intersection Improvements Project. So before we get our meeting started, I would like everyone to stay on mute uh, till the presentation is complete. And if you have any questions regarding the project, you could en enter those questions in the chat box. And uh, we'll be happy to answer them at the end of the presentation. Uh, so before I get into the presentation, I would like to introduce our engineer for the project. It's Adam Cross from GEI Consultants. Uh, Adam, can you introduce yourself? Sure, I'll risk a camera. Hey everyone, I'm Adam Cross with GEI Consultants. Thanks Thank you, everybody. Adam. Uh, so I'll be turning off my video. Uh, to reduce the bandwidth. So we'll get started on the presentation. We have a brief agenda for our pre-construction uh, virtual meeting where we will go over the project location, project background, the existing site conditions, proposed improvements at the intersection, and what does the schedule look like. So coming to the location, the intersection is located south of I-30 and east of I-20. Um, as you all know, and it's a really complicated geometry at the intersection. So coming to the project background, the, the intersection is currently a stopped control intersection. We don't have any signalization or other elements at the intersection. And Las Vegas Trail is currently a four lane north and a five lane south divide and neighborhood collector. And Normandale Street is a four lane north and two lane south commercial collector. We currently do not have any pedestrian facilities at the intersection. We don't have any sidewalks or ADA ramps to help the pedestrians cross the intersection safely. And uh, we have a really unsafe geometry and an unusual layout uh, at the intersection that provides um, safety concerns based on uh, considering the side distance as well as the geometry on where to go actually. Uh, so the project goal is really to improve the safety and operations at the intersection and make it safe for both the drive for both the drivers as well as pedestrians. So this is the existing site conditions. Um, as you can see, it's really complicated geometry. I was lost at this intersection once, so uh, I know it really needs improvement. Coming to the proposed improvements, we will be designing, uh, sorry, we already designed a multi-lane roundabout at this intersection, and we will also be installing pedestrian facilities along with it. We'll have accessible ramps, crosswalks, and sidewalks at all corners of this intersection. And um, we will also be providing a left turn lane on South Las Vegas Trail to uh, provide an access to Boba Stop gas station. This project is funded using 2018 bond program and the estimated cost for construction is around 2.3 million. 
So this is a picture of our proposed improvements. We will be installing a roundabout. It's a teardrop shaped roundabout and uh, we'll be improving all the lanes and also installing the sidewalks and crosswalks. Coming to the project schedule, we completed our design in July of 2021 and we bid, it, uh, we, we bid the project out in August of 2021. And we are estimating to start construction in January 2022 after the holidays. And we anticipate the duration of construction to be 10 months. So we will be mostly done with the construction around uh, October, November of 2022. Coming to the frequently asked questions, I left the slide uh, as is to go over a few questions that would be uh, generally frequently asked questions on such projects. One will be, will there be any roadway closures during construction? If so, what will the detour? So we won't be closing this intersection completely at any time. So we will have traffic to, uh, going through there. It won't be, we won't be having the whole intersection open. It will be phased out, but uh, we will have access to all the lanes at all times. The next question is why will there, uh, uh, be a hooded left and lane on South Las Vegas trails. So, uh, we have a street that's right next to the intersection. We have chopped out trail that's uh, very close to the intersection right now, and it has a left turn lane. So, if we provide a left turn lane that's so close to the intersection, it would hold up the traffic in the intersection and will queue up the intersection. So, that's the reason we will be moving that left turn lane to a bit away from the intersection to avoid traffic queuing up at the intersection. Um, so those were the two frequently asked questions that we can have on such projects. And that is all I have today. Um, lastly, I want to share our contact information. This is Shweta Rao again. I'll be the city project manager. Uh, you can reach out to me if you have any questions during construction or any concerns. Uh, you can always reach out to me. I have my email ID in here and my phone number. And Danny Craig from Repcon is our contractor project manager, and that's his email ID and phone number. And um, uh, this this presentation has been recorded and it will be posted on the project website. So if you miss our information here, you could always go back on the project website and uh, get the information from there. So that is all I have. And uh, so if you know if you have any questions, I'll leave the contact information slide open. Thank you, Shweta. Does uh, anyone have any questions? Uh, you can either uh, unmute yourself and or uh, type them in the chat. And again, you know, if you have questions going forward, the contact information for Shweta as well as the uh, contract representative, project manager is on the screen. And um, Mr. Allen's recorded this and, and we'll make it available uh, as Shweta talk, talked about. So uh, you can go back and, and watch this later on if, you, if you'd like to. But uh, the floor is definitely open for questions and, and we're here to try to answer whatever questions you have. I have a question. I know that that intersection uh, is key to both fire station 23 and the city bus system. Will that impact their services while it's being redone? I don't think we will be impacting the bus service and the fire service through the intersection because we'll have uh, lanes open to go either direction at all times. So, um, it would be a stop control intersection, so it might impact, maybe it will cause a little bit of delay, I would say, but uh, it won't have any major impacts. Adam, can you add to it if you have anything else? Uh, yeah, you, you you said it correctly. Yeah, so we're during the, the phasing of the construction will be finalized by the, the contractor, but the way that we, we stipulated it, they're not allowed to close any direction of traffic. Uh, a minimum of one lane will be able to get by at all times. So, and, and if a bus stop is impacted, I, it would just move uh, within a few feet just to to get out of the uh, the intersection. So, no significant impacts to either one. 
Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Question. Excellent uh, question and response. Um, any other questions? Question. I have a question. Yeah, please go ahead. Is this uh, impacting why we don't have street lights on this end of Las Vegas Trail right now? Is that going to get put back up? Um, I'm not sure about that on why we don't have it right now, but uh, we'll be surely installing street lights with this project. I can check uh, with our transportation management group on existing street lights. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about the existing conditions. One was knocked down, so I'm pretty certain that that's why they're out, but I just thought because it was taking so long, maybe it was because y'all had something going already, but this is a, a really tough part of town and we need our streetlights back. Yeah, Thank you. We will definitely reach out to um, our transportation uh, management team and and uh, kind of get some information on that and see, see if we can get that uh, rectified. So uh, I, I didn't realize that it was not down, but we definitely will uh, we'll look into this for you uh, with the folks who manage that. So thank you for bringing that up, definitely. I'm not saying y'all knocked them down. It, it was knocked down by yes, somebody running up first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Understood. Oh, Martin, this is Jeff. Um, one thing about street pole or traffic street light poles in particular, um, especially if they've been damaged and knocked down, is we're, we're experiencing fairly significant delays in getting new poles. <laughs> So it could that could just that could be one of the reasons why it hasn't happened yet uh, because everything's been a little bit backlogged on uh, streetlights. Could you please put up the map again of the layout of the roundabout? I'm curious about how much property. Um, like the Bobo stop in the dentist office and all that is, is taken in. It looks fairly small. Would you consider that similar to the Clear Fork roundabout? No, theirs is much bigger. Oops. Clear Fork's bigger. Um, we are not impacting any property lines. As such, uh, we are almost staying within the city right of way for this project. And uh, we don't have any right of way takes on either corner. Are you familiar with the Clear Fork roundabout? Yes, I am. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it would be, I think it would be almost of a similar size. Adam, can you confirm? Because that one is very manageable and not as overwhelming as, say, the roundabout or the circle at 377, which really throws a lot of people off. The same is Clear Fork and what? So I'm not familiar with that particular roundabout. One. Not familiar with yeah, so, the Clear Fork or the 377, Highway 377? Uh, the, the Clear Fork one. The one that goes between Bryant, or I'm sorry, between Hewlin and Bryant Urban. It's, it's small, it's very manageable. It's the hospital, uh, apartment, the retail development. About the Chisholm Trail. It's at Clear Fork and Edwards Ranch. I think that would be a smaller one than this one, uh, but just wanted to confirm. Yeah, and I think I think they're, they're similar size, um, but when you compare this to uh, the traffic circle, I think you're referring to the traffic circle. You know, with the uh, predominant path there, 
uh, it, it's much smaller than what you find at Weatherford Circle. So uh, just in terms of comparison, um, that, that Weatherford Circle is uh, much larger. Yes. So this, this looks good because I've lived here for 50 years and I've never understood who designed that intersection. Understood, and we hope to, to solve that here uh, shortly. Okay, Ed, thank you. Do we have any other questions? Check the chat. No questions in the chat. I just want to say thank you for doing this. And I'm very disappointed that there's not more participation out here. Can we actually print this page? Yes, the presentation will be available on the project website um, for you to print it. Or if you could uh, just provide me your email on the chat, I'll send it to you. My email. I did fill it out, but I can put it on the chat. Yeah, if you could put it on the chat. You got it, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, um, I'll also put, um, we'll make that one page a PDF and we'll put it on the project page so people don't have to watch the you know, the entire presentation to see that particular image. Yes. We can do that too. Where would you go to HB? I'm going to share the link in just a moment. Uh, you can go to the um, fortworthtexas.gov and just search Las Vegas Trail or Normandale, but I am going to post it in chat as, as well. So if you see the chat, you can copy that link to go right to the page. Awesome. Thank you, Jeff. I'm sure that you see Ms. Berry's email on the chat as well. Uh, yes, Martin, and I have that noted. Awesome. Um, so definitely, uh, if, if uh, there are no more questions, you know, we appreciate your attendance um, uh, and, and being involved, you know, what's happening in our community. And so we thank you very much. And I know Councilmember Crane appreciates you and appreciates this project as well. So. Uh, there are no more questions. I guess uh, we can adjourn the meeting. And uh, again, you have the link to the project page and uh, we'll make all of this available to you. And again, just thank you so much for attending and, and have a great evening. Thank you, Martin. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. You too.